Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, another video, and today, as I uh, mentioned at the end of the last video, we're um, doing a video request for Linton. Looking back to the 70s and 80s medical comedy favourite, Only When I Laugh, which starred James Bolin, who a lot of people will remember from The Likely Lads, and of course the sequel series, Whatever Happened to the Likely Lads. Peter Bowles, who you might also remember from To the Manor Born. And Christopher Strahl, who played Norman. He starred in a series called Ruffles as well. Um, it was written by Eric Chappell, who also worked on Rising Damp. And also Home to Roost. Of course, Rising Damp, classic series featured Leonard Rossiter. And uh, Home to Roost was another situation comedy with John Four. Uh, but you've got all four series on this set. It's a four disc set released on the network label. It was originally produced by, um, Yorkshire Television. It's got the famous uh, Yorkshire TV logo on the back as well. It's PG rating. So you get all four series and you get the uh, Christmas special Away for Christmas. Um, for those of you who are Doctor Who fans, um, there's quite a connection on here um, to Doctor Who because on two of the episodes, uh, they have guest appearances from Patrick Troughton, of course, the second Doctor, and Mary Tam, who played the first Romana in the Kita Time season alongside Tom Baker. My favourite episode would have to be A Day in the Life Of, where all three characters are trying to... Um, get the attention of a film crew that have turned up at the hospital to film a documentary about the uh, daily ongoings in the hospital. You also, in the series, have um, a very young Richard Wilson, who plays Dr Thorpe, the main doctor, um, who is very intolerant of Figgis, uh, James Boland's char character, um, and Archie Peter Bowles' character, he's a little bit more sympathetic towards Christopher um, Strauss character, Norman. Norman's a bit more of a uh, yes man, and he's a little bit more, I wouldn't say compliant to the doctors, but he doesn't kick off as much as um, Figgis and Archie do. You've also got um, Gupta, who is the other Doctor that you see regularly. Um, doesn't say on here who um, played him. Oh, actually it does. It's, it was Derek Branch. Pardon me, Derek Branch played good so uh, what I do like as you'll be able to see from the photos of the discs is you get two discs on one um, spindle inside you turn it over and you get the other two um, having them displayed in such a way allows you to view both parts of the series synopsis um, it gives you all the details on the episodes and all the guest stars, and it's really easy to read and well set out. So I like that very much. Uh, I just wish more um, DVD sets would be laid out in such a manner. Obviously, because of the time it was produced, um, it was you have mono sound, so you may want to uh, turn your TV sound up. And there is one episode 
where it advises inside the box with all the information. There's one episode where there is a glitch. Now, I'm not sure whether it says whether it's audio or video, but they were unable to remove that fault as it was on the master tapes from which uh, these episodes were sourced and put onto the discs. And so therefore, they couldn't replace them, they couldn't edit them. Um, so just be aware, there is a mistake on that one, one episode. I believe it's in series three. But if you buy the set and you uh, watch them through, you'll see which one it is. Um, now, of the other um, stats um, to be aware of, uh, if you are hard of hearing or you use subtitles, as I know a lot of people need to, I've had to rely on them on myself recently. Um, well, unfortunately, there is no subtitle provision on this set, which I think, considering I know the age of the material, but would it have really hurt to uh, put the uh, caption and sort of facilities on? I don't think so. Um, despite that, I do think it's a very funny series. It brings a lot of memories back from my uh, younger child childhood. And I'll never forget uh, James Bolan as Figgis singing the theme tune. That simple song of I make J-P-P-Y, I make J-P-P-Y. I know I am, I'm sure I am, I make J-P-P-Y. That was the main theme tune. Um, and I'm not singing it or doing it musically because obviously problems around copyright, we don't want to go there. But very memorable series. Very glad I got it. Great suggestion for a, a video, uh, Linton. And it was one of my favourites, definitely growing up. And most of the cast, as we've said, go on to other series and become very well known. But great series. I do, however, knock a point off for them not including subtitles. But certainly Only When I Laugh is a very funny, very enjoyable series. Um, and I've certainly enjoyed re-watching it again. In the comments today, guys, do you remember Only When I Laugh as a show? Um, do you have any favourite episodes or characters? And also, we all at the minute associate hospital with sadness and doom and gloom, but do you have any past funny hospital stories or hospital-related jokes that you'd like to leave in the comments? I'd be very keen and happy to read those indeed. Next time we're back with a look at the full collection box set of the TV series of On The Buses, including cast changes at the beginning and, and the end of the show's run that you might not even be aware of. So I look forward to that. And I'll see you next time for that video. In the meantime, stay safe, look after each other and take care.